Right, it's driveway down our wire here. I've uh, got my Foxhall Severa uh, with a rear wiper problem. Well, obviously, you can see there isn't one. Uh, it's been snapped off, broken off at this uh, hinge joint here. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to change it. Uh, it looks like it's just one bolt. So uh, see if we can get it off and I'll show you what parts I've got and what I'm going to put on. Right, I'll just show you what parts I've got. I've got them from uh, off eBay. Not genuine, but they're as good as, I think. That's the one, that's the arm. Uh, that's the wiper. Just goes straight in, that just clips onto that like that. Uh, see if we can find any part numbers for you. And if there's any, but it's not. Like I say, they're not genuine. But that's a part number. That's the part number I got off eBay. Uh, so the whole thing's ten quid. So uh, let's hopefully it'll uh, be the be the business and it'll, it'll just go get on. started. It's a thirty millimeter bolt. I'm just going to uh, spray a bit of WD forty on it. Do that, let that work in. It's not rusted or anything, but I just want to make sure it comes off because obviously it's built into the uh, into the glass as well. So you don't want to be sort of hammering away at it or anything. You want to make sure it comes off straight away. So I'm going to let that soak for a bit, and I'm going to get me uh, socket set and uh, see if I can get that off. Right, so the next bit on here. Took the uh, 30 millimeter bolt nut to, uh, nut off. That was really easy, but I've got this puller and it's really really seized inside, and I don't want to do it too much before. Uh, about breaking something else but I think the only thing I'm gonna have to do is uh, probably cut this off I'm gonna have to do it gingerly because obviously there's a lot of glass around there so uh, I think that unless it uh, unless the penetrating fluid gets right in there so I'm gonna soak it overnight and see how we get on in the morning right then so we come back to this and uh, this is seized to hell I've tried all sorts of things I've tried the puller I've tried loads of penetrating fluid tried all sorts and that is really seized inside there and what I don't want to do I don't want to have to fork out for a new motor and you know make this repair bigger than it actually is all I want to do is put an arm on so I've got two choices here I can either cut this off uh, I've got a oscillator that could probably cut through there and get in there but it's still going to be take me a time or I can take off some of the arm and actually put it fix that into the hole but with a spring which is in there so that's my could be my other option without having to go in I've tried the puller and I'm starting to uh, starting to break it up anyway but I don't know if they use some sort of thread lock in there or I don't know for a six-year-old car I'm surprised it sees as much as that but uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to endeavor anyway and try and see so Basically, I wanted this video to be about just swapping over a wiper arm, which has come into a major repair now. So uh, I'm going to go away and have a think and see what I'm going to do. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and detach this bit here, the spring and the arm. I think it's pretty much the same arm. Uh, I was a bit unsure whether it was too much of an aftermarket part because it's not genuine. It wasn't going to fit, but I think it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and hook this spring and then unhook the arm, I'm going to attach the rest of the arm to that. I think that's what I'm going to do because this job is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, so yeah, so let's see where we go with that. Right, so I'm going to detach this, so what I'm going to do, the spring's there, this just pulls forward like that, and as you can see, spring just unhooks. So I'm going to try and keep this as it is. I'm going to go over to the car and hook it back on the same way we just took it off. So we'll leave that on there and that should should be enough to uh, like that to hook back on. The spring is the most important part of this is what it keeps it all together. So I'm going to go back outside Done and that. do that. Got a, uh, got a hit. This one. I don't know if you can see right underneath. I've got the spring. The spring.
spring attached, it's hooked in and that's gone on there. So that works. I'm going to put the wiper blades on and reattach that. Normally that would just come straight off. So this is that's seized to hell. I don't want to damage the thread. I don't want to. I probably should have done that in the beginning to be honest. Uh, but I was hoping to make a video about just taking the whole thing off. But, uh, but that spring has just gone straight in there. So like for like for the arm you've got. So I'm going to put that nut back on. I'm going to put the wiper blade back on. And that's if it works. So uh, I've got my wiper. Wiper. Just goes, locks in there. Just hook it in. Like that. That goes down like that. And then, not sure. Got me nuts as well. Having to do this holding the camera because I'm sort of in and out all the time and what if you still try and do it. That's that. That goes in there. Then we should have got a cover. A cover. It's got two pins. That goes on there like that. So there you go. Alright, let's see if it works. See if I haven't done this so, we've got a hit, just turn the uh, windscreen wiper on. See if it's going to work. Boom, there we go, got it, done it. So it's all done. Uh, very happy with it. Shame I couldn't show you how to take the whole arm off, but I've uh, had to do some work to get it on. Probably should have done that in the beginning. So, yeah, all done. Hopefully, uh, this isn't too sort of a uh, confusing video for you. Glad for watching, glad you watched. Uh,